So, J Rock William, my man. Salamu alaikum to my brother for real. That's that brother right there, man. I got so much love for him. That's why Charlo one of my favorite fighters, but it hurt me when he did my boy Greasy. So J Rock is a perfect example of a world champion. A minor setback for a major comeback. Now exactly. he he said and that nothing he not, wrong with that in yeah, boxing. He he said that he not here to to be a world champion. He's here to be a pound for pound number one fighter in the world. Mm. In the future, he want to face the likes of Errol. The likes of Bud. He want to go down in history with the list of Floyd Mayweather, Ali, all the greats. And he could do it if he put that mind into it. And obviously, he has the dedication and he has the skill and the talent to back it up. Obviously, he ran to a wall, which was Charlo. Ain't no shame in his game mm. because Charlo, one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound. Yep. In my opinion, in my mm. list, of course, like doing J-Rock like he did. Which and J-Rock, one? Which one? Jamal Charlo. Yeah. So... Um, <laughs> On the other hand, he could redeem himself fighting Jamel Charlo and move up in weight and fight Jamal Charlo again. You know what I mean? Yeah. So at the end of the day, the sky's the limit. He fight, he fighting yeah, his beat opponent. Beat the little brother. Yeah, than he got and, a, and, and, he, then, and then get your revenge on him. Yeah, yeah he fighting he fighting his mandatory. Obviously, uh, his mandatory uh, is a good fighter. However, I favor J Rock all day. Yeah, okay. I got J Rock all day. That's my guy. You know, I got a ride for Philly. And I feel like he represent Philly well. He represent uh, us Muslims very well. The way he carry himself, man. Like I said, all all the blessings to my brother. And I hope he wins in a a, 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 a tremendous fashion and see him with the fight that he wants the most, which is Jamel Charlo for the unification bout at 154. Now, how you think about his next upcoming fight, and what do you think about him sta his statements? He wanted to become a pound for pound fighter. Um, so I think that those are lofty goals. Um, does he have the talent and everything else to do it? I I look at J Rock like just under the kind of so there's the top tier of fighters and talent, and I, I think J Rock is just under there. And, but sometimes your heart and your determination can put you over there. So he is getting a lot of credit for a very good win against the Jared Hurd. But Jared Hurd is somebody who is there to be hit. Um, but he like a light also, heavyweight, though. He is a light. He is a light heavyweight. But we've we've known that somebody was gonna kind of knock him off of his um, perch. Um, and then we were kind of hoping that it would kind of get to it because you, 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 we've seen it just somebody with that style uh, similar to Antonio Margarito, they're going to just kind of run into that person that just at that um, that ultimate moment, all of those things kind of come together and, and, and break you down. It wasn't as bad as Sugar Shane against Antonio Margarito, but you saw some similarity between this big, intimidating figure of a fighter who just goes straight ahead and eats punches, but somebody who... Applied that technique, took the body away, and made sure that they hurt that 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 person that was charging for it. Um, you can see them easily, you know, getting out out of the box um, during those times. So I, I think that he, he's got some work to do. I think first of all, he needs to make sure that he's the best person at his weight class. Clean out that division. Um, going and. Uh, a vision that I mean, yeah, a, a, a vision that loss that you had to um, Charlo. to Charlo uh, is is a good step forward. But also claiming different um, championships and different weight divisions, like those are the things that are that we essentially see as a mark as of pound somebody who is a, a pound for pound fighter. Hundred percent correct on that, and that's what he's looking to do. Um, however, all the fans uh, and all of my eye keys in the comment section. Um, you know, if y'all got any question, because it's a lot of comments and obviously we stay busy talking and stuff. So if y'all got any question, all you have to do is drop a super chat. It, it could be for a penny and we're going to basically respond to it. So if y'all got any question as far as Bud, as far as anybody, drop the comment and the question with a super chat or call in and we could talk about it. So uh, that being said, Conor McGregor, man, after my man Khabib. Spanked the ish out of him. You know what I mean? Khabib gave him two L's that night. 
Now, Michael be, Mena, be him and his whole team, not Conor McGregor, making a comeback at 170 versus Cowboy. He don't want to be at 155, man, because Khabib out there, obviously he want the rematch to redeem himself because ain't no more embarrassing loss than that. Like, getting smashed, spit on your face, and <laughs> for real, man, man, he beat up his whole team. I'm talking about being a G. Habib, man, name Khabib is Habib is the gangster of them all. Now, it's definitely obviously, Habib. yeah. Conor McGregor making his comeback. I ain't gonna lie. Conor was one of my favorite fighters. Before he started smacking women or men, old men. He couldn't even knock out a 40-year-old man when he didn't want to try his BS whiskey. So, Conor McGregor was one of my favorite fighters. I mean, just the way he think, the way he talk, like the way he carry himself. I was like, man, I, I like this guy. I mean, he remind me of the prince. Anybody that give me a flashback of the Prince, I'd be like, man, I'll I, I mess with, mm. with this dude heavy. I can see that. Then all of a sudden, like, Prince always kept it respectful. He never dissed nobody. Family, religion, none yeah. of that. He, wife, he was respected. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he had manners. Connor has none. And that's why Khabib told him, like, man, I don't know. I, can, you, I should be talking. I'm not going to talk about your father because I could see how he raised you. You know, his English, Khabib ain't that good, but what he was saying was very meaningful. Now, what I want to say is this. Conor McGregor obviously want to avenge that loss. He coming back to steal more money in the game. He fighting Cowboy. Cowboy, obviously, he not he no longer the same. He wanted that fight back in the day, but he stayed losing every 